I just came over here from England. I was playing in England. I was... There was always somebody from England in every crowd. Isn't there? On my second last show, this just at the end of the show, this very sweet little old lady came up to me with a tin of homemade cookies. <laughs> I think she knew I was from Canada and she probably heard that recently they legalized pot there. <laughs> She put it all together in her head and she figured out, yeah, okay, I'll make Harry some cookies. She didn't tell me what was in them. So I was so happy to get that tin of cookies, you know. I had them in my car the next day I'm driving to the next show. I had them there beside me and I'm, I'm driving along. I think, yeah, a little peckish, I'm gonna have a cookie. I ate one of those cookies. They were so good. Tastes a little strange, but not bad. So I had a second. That was my second mistake. <laughs> I drove like 10 minutes and then I was, as they say in Canada, shit-faced. <laughs> Completely stoned. It was terrible. I was... Cars were suddenly going so fast, you know, and I, I didn't know what was wrong. I was doing 20. Thought, What's the problem here? No, it got so bad I became a road hazard. I had to pull off the road to finish the rest of the cookies. <laughs> Four hours late for the show. But, uh, so happy I made it. And, uh, I pulled off the road and I parked in front of a club and they had the sign out in front of the club. It read like this, it said, I mean, I stared at it for about two hours. <laughs> Is it Friday night live music, Saturday night live music, Sunday jazz? <laughs> what could that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, there's a house over 
Yeah, they got the prettiest women.